What's the difference between spinning net plays and singles and doubles? So you get a shuttle, for example, right? Airplane reds, you know, I sell these. People 10 for 2.9. But product placement aside, basically what the difference is between a spinning net play and singles and doubles is the racket face before the shot. So I'll, I'll have pictures as well, but basically in singles, you want to maximize the court. You want to make it as big as possible, right? Because the opponent has to cover all four corners. So you want to make it um, as tight and as close as to the net, right? So if you want to make it as tight as possible, it has to go over and then it has to come down like this. If you want to maximize this last two, three inches, right? Um, that's why spinning net shots in singles are like this, right? And doubles, we're really worried about pace. Um, ideally, you would be able to do this too, but because there is a front player in doubles, they're just going to cover the net. So if you do this, your spinning net shot might be good, but it'll be super slow. And all this time it spends spinning up here is time that they can kill it, right? So you have to make sure the front player stays back by showing them a flat face like this, like this, instead of this, right? So this way, they have to be scared of your drive. They have to be scared of your push, your long net. Because if they run up to you and they just wait, I'm just going to drive it in their face. This will make more sense with pictures, okay? So this is what I mean by um, like a singles racket showing like this. You see Kento Momoda here is playing a spinning net shot with his racket vertical, meaning he can either lift or he can play the spinning net. And that's okay because you're making the opponent have to stay in the middle in singles because if they move too far forward, then you just lift it over their head um, and they can't run to get it, right? And if they stand too far back, then that's okay too. You play the spinning net shot. And right, again, we are trying to maximize the distance. So that is what the net shot does um, in singles is we're trying to make the court as big as possible and we're trying to make the shuttle land as close to the net. So it's okay for the shuttle to go slightly upwards as long as it lands tight. We're trading essentially speed for deepness, okay? And then here in doubles, um, we are trying to show them, you know, we're still trying to get a spinning net shot, but we're going to achieve it in a different way by showing them more of a, what is this, um, a horizontal, is this horizontal? No, a more ver vertical? I wouldn't go. <laughs> Basically, we're trying to show them a racket face that looks like this instead of like this, okay? Like um, the picture here of Jenny from Badminton Inside is showing. And again, why? It's so that they are scared of our drive as well. Because if we show them a, a shot like this, if they move up, then you just drive it in their face, right? And then they literally can't get it back and you score the point. So they have to stand back and wait for you to play your shot. Because if you just show this in, in doubles, they're just going to kill it, like I said before, right? So we show this, we get the, we get this, we get the spinning net that way, um, which will still force them to lift. Um, it's just a different way of doing it. One is more about safety. One is more about... Um, maximizing the court because like if you don't get the spinning net shot in uh doubles when you do this the the shot typically will land long but deep meaning that they can't play a spinning net shot either and then they'll have to either play a long net as well or they'll have to lift so either way it's um it's good so i hope this answers your question i'll probably have to make like a full on-court video about this because i'm sure other people will ask um, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, go watch my tutorials I've made on both the spinning net and singles as well as doubles. It will help you a lot. Okay, bye-bye.